Hey everybody, so a problem that can happen um, often with wooden um, bird boxes is that wasps can get into them and, and then end up building a nest. And um, when that happens, um, sometimes like if you had a nesting bird in there, they'll abandon the nest because um, in a war between them and a wasp, they just don't want to take that on. So there is something that you can do, and I really recommend doing this ahead of time when you um, set your nest box up. And then I would say like re like re up every time you clean. So if if you're managing bluebirds and you're getting ready for your next brood, um, you want to do this again. And basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to take soap and soap the top areas of the inside of the nest box. And what that does is it it it's too um, well, if you think about soap, it's a little too greasy. I don't know if that's quite the right word, but um, yeah, it's it's too slippery for the um, wasp nest to adhere its nest to the uh, nest box. There's a lot of nest words in here. Um, so usually what's recommended is ivory soap. You want something that is low scent. Um, and this is actually pretty scented, but it's it's not overpowering. I also had dial soap. I, I haven't seen that as recommended, but I made sure that it was a low scent. So you just, you don't want something too um, super scented. Uh, so yeah, so basically you're just gonna open up the bar of soap. And I've, I've uh, taken apart this nest box. So, I'm actually, so yeah, I've uh, taken the top off of this nest box just to make it easier. You don't have to, to do it this way, but um, it does help. Um, so yeah, uh, here's the lid. And I also, this lid has an overhang. I painted it white, but I'm also gonna do this overhang too, just in case. Got some screws. Okay, so you open your soap and you just, like a crayon. Or at least this is how I do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that overhang too. Okay, so that one's done. Then um, you don't have to do the whole inside of the box. What you wanna do is about two, uh, one to two inches down, and that just gives you a good perimeter there. So that's what I'm gonna do, and it's a little hard to get your hands in there, but you know, we'll, we'll make it work. So I don't know if you can kind of see the, yeah, you can see a little bit of how that looks in there. Um, so that should be a pretty good perimeter. And then, um, ooh, sorry. So this, this just screws right back on. So you just soak the inside, screw the top back on. Again, you can do this without taking the lid off. Um, you, I don't think you really have to worry about doing it for plastic nests, but you know, it, it can't hurt. I have heard of wasps building nests in um, baffles too. So if you wanted to do the inside of a baffle, um, just be careful when you're doing that because the metal could kind of cut. Um, so yeah, that's how to do that. I hope that helps. Um, hopefully no wasp issues now. Thanks. 